Hi there, Philip Hinkle from ProDad, back to give you the lowdown on the new Mercalli Easy for the Mac. The Easy button for fixing drone and action cam footage. Unlike Mercalli SAL Mac, which has a lot of capability to fine tune and adjust video stabilization settings, Mercalli Easy Mac is a one clip at a time quick fix tool where everything is automatically set to deliver the best results. If you find you need more correction power, you can always upgrade to the Mercalli SAL Mac and not lose money. Okay, let's dive in and see how it works. First thing I need to do is get a clip. The program is running right here. I'm going to click Import. Very simple. And I navigate to where my footage is. It's on my desktop, and it's this GoPro clip right here. Going to open that. And here we have our clip on the timeline. It's a clip from uh, Pennsylvania, a trip I got to go on last year. Got to fly it around in a helicopter with a GoPro strapped on the outside and film some footage with a friend. And it was a good time. And of course, as you can imagine, footage in a helicopter with a GoPro strapped on it could have some vibrations in it. Just to show you, I've got the clip right here. And this is the section of footage we're actually going to work on. This is in QuickTime. I'm just going to play that footage for you. As you can see, it bounces around and it moves a little bit, but it's also got this really fast vibration of a, it's like a jitter or a wobble. That's something that we are going to fix in our program, but I wanted to show you the difference between what that jitter was, that wobble was, and just needing stabilization. You can see in the clip, helicopter banked a little left and right in it. It was kind of floating around in the sky and that's the horizon moving and that's the whole shot moving but those tiny vibrations that is from the CMOS sensor on the camera and we refer to that as the jitter wobble in Mercalli EZ so the first thing we want to do is just click in our timeline down here and find the actual footage we want to work with and the section of footage I want is coming right here in this parking lot couple ways we can trim our footage so we don't have to process an entire clip. It's a lot faster to work with a tiny section than a big section. So the first thing I need to do is set an in and an out point for what I want to work with. One way to do it is to put my cursor right here where I want to work with it. You see my arrow down there on the bottom of the timeline? And if I just hit the I key for in on my keyboard, you can see it sets an in point. So right there is where I'm going to start my processing. Next, I want to find where I want it to end. This is a uh, long clip, so it's not going to look like a large section, but it's a, eh, about 15 seconds worth of footage. Right along in here is where I want it to stop. So if I click right there, now my timeline play button goes to that position. Then what you can do is another way to trim your clip is go out to the edge out here on the green and just highlight it and drag it over. And I'm using that timeline cursor as a marker. There is one more way to set the in and out point that I want to show you. As I hover on the timeline down here, you can see up here a set in and a set out are activated when my cursor is on the timeline. So if I were to come in fairly close to where I was going to edit, which if I remember right, was right back in here. There it is. If I were to hit the play button and just let it play, when I get to the point I want to cut, I can click on the set end button and it will create an endpoint for me. If I remember, that is coming up right in here. Right about there looks good. Now if I click the play and let it play to where I want to stop my clip. Again, the resources are making it a little jumpy because we're recording the screen. Once I get past these, uh, this old factory and get out over the river, I want to set an out point. So all I do is click on set out and there we go. So that's the section of footage I'm going to analyze and fix. Now here's where Mercalli EZ is easy. There's just not a lot to worry about. First thing I want to do is I want to select the camera. This was a GoPro session 4 and it was shot on 1080 wide. So I'm going to check 1080 wide. Now one thing that you can do, and we're going to do that real quick here, is if we don't select the jitter wobble, all it's going to do is fix that swaying motion and stabilize the footage. I want to show you the difference 
and how that works because sometimes all you need is to stabilize. Sometimes you don't have any jitter or wobble. So why spend the time processing to try and fix it? Let's just stabilize the footage. So if I click Analyze Clip, it's going to go through and analyze the footage and stabilize it. Okay, our analyzation has completed. And if I click up here, I've got some options. I can view horizontal compare, and you can see it splits them. Or it does the vertical compare, which is the one I usually use. And you can see this side has zoomed in a little bit and cropped because it needed to stabilize. The little easy logo down here denotes the side that's been analyzed. This is the source side. So when I play that back, you'll be able to see the comparison between the two clips. Now I know that is hard to see because it's stuttering. So what I did is I've got the clips saved off. Let me go open them. I pre-processed them so you can see. Here is the clip that had just the stabilization on. You can see the left side of the screen is the original footage. It's got some bounce to it. It's moving around left and right and floating. The right side of the screen is much more dialed in. However, you can still see the bounce, that jitter and wobble I was talking about, but it's not wandering left and right and back and forth as much. One other thing you'll notice is the right side of the screen also has a flat horizon. Let me show you what we didn't do on that clip that we're going to do next. There's an option here called Remove Fisheye Warp. If you click that, after processing, you can see my footage now went from a curved horizon to a flat horizon. And so that is something else Mercalli Easy Mac can do is remove the fisheye warp. And the type of camera you have actually dictates how the warp is removed. We have profiles for lots of different action cameras. Um, so let's move on to our next step. We saw in our footage that that jitter and wobble was still existent. So what we need to do is select the jitter wobble checkbox, and we are going to have to reanalyze our clip. When we do, this time it's going to take significantly longer to repair because the processing to fix the jitter and wobble is much more intense and it's working on things frame by frame by frame. So I'm going to start the process. We'll click on the Analyze clip and you can see it says Analyzing CMOS Distortions. That's the fancy name for Jitter Wobble. Okay, our analyzation is all done. As you can see now, because we checked the Remove Fish Eye Warp, that our horizon is now nice and straight. Well, except for that little bit of a mountain back there in the background, but we can't help that. Um, and if we go back up here again and we can select our horizontal or vertical stabilization comparison. Again, down here on the right side, the easy logo is displayed. On the left is our original stock footage. If we really wanted to see the difference. Here's our analyzed. Here's our source. You can see it has cropped a little bit. It's going to have to to remove that fisheye, and the stabilization will crop it a little bit more, but we have found Mercalli to create the least amount of crop of any stabilization tool on the market. So you're saving as many pixels as possible by using the Mercalli EZ product. So we've got our jitter and wobble fixed. We've removed our fisheye, and it's time to compare our footage. Now again, it's not playing in full speed because of the resources on my computer. What I've done is I've already exported this clip in a side-by-side -side video. Let me open it real quick. Here is the version of the footage with the CMOS and the stabilization fixed. You will notice on the left, we've still got all the jitter because that's our stock footage, but now the footage on the right side of your screen has noticeable stabilization and all of that bounce, that jitter and that wobble that you're seeing on the left is gone. That clip went from not really being able to use it in any kind of a video project to a clip that can easily be used in a video project to show off the skyline of this particular city in Pennsylvania. So very simple with Mercalli Easy Mac to save those shots that may have got messed up by your drone or your action cam or whatever else you're doing. It's not just limited to action cams. It works on any kind of camera as well. 
Even your smartphone can be improved with the help of Mercalli EZ. There's one last thing I haven't showed you because I had pre-exported these clips so I could show them to you, and that is the export function. If I click on export, it gives you an opportunity to change the file name right here. So I could call this, this was actually Allentown. I could call this Allentown Fixed. And I'm going to put a two after it because that first one I showed you a minute ago was the first version of it. When we're exporting our files, we have a couple of options. We have QuickTime Movie, which will be a ProRes 422, and MPEG 4, which is your H.264 flavors um, and Apple M4V. If you want a higher codec like a ProRes 444 or other higher end options, you're going to have to get the Mercalli SAL for Mac, the Pro version, because we include many more options in there for you to export your files. For most cases, these will do the trick. We're keeping things simple. We're keeping it small and easy to use because we want this to be a quick and fast, easy thing for you. You can click on that folder and come down and change your folder where you want to export them to. I'm going to put it in finals right there because that's where I want to save my files. One other feature to show you is you can also select here on the export window if you want to export the analyzed, the vertical compare, or the horizontal compare. So even if you check something up here, you can change that at export time right down here, which is a cool little feature. And remember, if you have this set, you're going to export side by side or over under footage. All I do is hit export and it will do its encoding and it will render it out and put it where you asked it to go. That's really all there is to Mercalli Easy Mac. It's super simple. It's got a lot of power built right into this very easy to use interface. Bang for the buck, Mercalli Easy Mac delivers a lot of power for a small investment.